this presentation I'm going to show you how to add a cohort to a category to help you enroll a group of people into courses. So the category I'm looking at is my national and international business. First of all we go to settings and then we come down to cohorts. So in the cohorts area I have a few people in there already. I'm going to add a new one. And I'm going to give it the name, which is my name, which will help me later locate and add people to that cohort. So we save changes here. The next thing is to actually enrol your members into your cohort. So we come down to my name, we go across to the members or add members and we click on it. So the first member I'm going to add, I'm going to come down here and type their name. And I'm going to add that person. And I'm going to search for another person. to add the next member and then I'm going to add the last member so I've added three members to my cohort so you need to return back to the cohorts once you've completed the adding of members. And you will see now I have three members in my cohort. So the next thing then is to return back to my category and add them to a course. So I'll go back to my national and international business. And I'm going to add them to this course. So in this course, we'll go to the users, and you'll see I have no users at the moment. So we're going to set up an enrollment method. So in the enrollment method, we're going to come down to cohort sync, and we're going to give it a name. Now again, I'm just going to use my name because it will be easier to or at least remember to use the right information each time. So there's my name, the cohort is my name again, the role is student and I've already set up a group with my name. So I'm going to choose add method. So you see now it has the three users that have come across. If I go to my settings and go back to enrolled users you will see now those three people have been added to the course with their role as students and have gone straight into my group. Okay, next thing I want to show you is if I go into my cohorts or into my category, I'm actually going to add a person to the cohort so I go back to settings and cohorts, come down to my cohort here and again I'm going to add a member. And the member I'm going to add again, I need to search for the member, Let's search for Dennis and I'm going to add him to my cohort list and I need to return back to the cohorts. So if I come back now to my course where I had originally enrolled the cohorts and I refresh this screen, you will now see that Dennis has been added to my course. Okay. 
Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is I now have another course I want to add my cohort to. So I'll go to my national and international business, which is a category that the cohort was created in. And I'm going to go to the next course. So the next course, firstly what I wanted to do was um, create a group because I don't have a group in this course. Oops. Users. And we go to groups. So I'm going to create a group. Again, I'll call the group my name. I'm not going to add anything else there. Okay, so I've got my group there. We go to settings, users, enrollment methods, and again we're going to choose cohort sync. And again we'll call it Susie Romanelli. The cohort, again we're going to go down and choose my cohort and we add it to the group and then we choose add method again if we go back to our enrolled users you will now see that the four members of my cohort have been automatically enrolled in the course as students and in my group